Hello and welcome. Today we are discussing a question that has been asked many times over on sites like Stack Overflow. It has been phrased many ways, but essentially the question is, how do I use JavaScript to detect if I am online or offline? The answer to this question has evolved over the years, and today I'll provide an update using asynchronous code with async await. But first, there is currently a widely accepted simple answer using navigator.online along with online and offline event listeners. Let's look at how this solution works, and then we'll discuss why this may not be the best solution for your applications. Let's start by adding a load event listener. When the load event fires, the listener will check the online property of the Navigator interface and then display the online status. The online property of Navigator provides a Boolean response, meaning we get either true or false. Why the word Navigator? It's a reference to the Netscape Navigator browser from the 90s. To finish the action of the listener, we'll use a ternary statement where we set the status display value. You can see the browser window that I have set to iPad has updated our element to display online. But this only updates the display when the page loads. Let's add offline and online event listeners to update our status display anytime either of those events fires. We can go to the Application tab of Chrome DevTools and click on Service Worker to set the browser to respond as if it's offline. I'll check and uncheck the offline checkbox a few times. You can see the status display responds immediately to the offline and online events that are fired. And that seems like a good solution that is fairly simple. Unfortunately, as we dig into the docs for the online property of Navigator and the online and offline events, we'll find there is a problem. Checking navigator.online at caniuse.com shows widespread support for the online offline status it provides. Looking at the notes below the table, we see, quote, online does not always mean connection to the internet. It can also just mean connection to some network. Let's also take a look at the MDN docs reference for Navigator Online. MDN Web Docs backs up this information about the online property of the Navigator interface and adds additional notes. Quote, browsers implement this property differently. Specifically note that, quote, you cannot assume that a true value necessarily means that the browser can access the internet. You could be getting false positives. And that makes using the Navigator online property with offline and online events a solution that can wreak havoc in our applications that depend on outside data sources. Or also when we are trying to detect if our progressive web app is online or not. MDN even recommends developing additional means for checking the online status. A quick search for Navigator Online not working reveals more Stack Overflow questions about this very issue. So what's the solution? We want to know when we are really connected to the internet and not just a router or local network. Let's go back to our JavaScript file and start over. The idea is to make a web request and handle it gracefully with error catching if it fails. If the request succeeds, we're online, and if it fails, we're not. We're going to request a small image at an interval to determine the online status. Modern JavaScript with fetch and async await now provides great tools to accomplish this goal. Let's start by creating an async arrow function named check online status. The function will return true or false like the online property of Navigator does. Inside the function, we'll set up a try block where we await a fetch request for a one pixel image. Ensure your service worker is not caching this image if your app is a PWA. HTTP response codes between 200 and 299 indicate success, so we'll return the result of a comparison. This will be true if the response status is from 200 to 299 and false otherwise. We also have to provide a catch block that catches the error if the request fails. We'll return false here to indicate we are definitely offline. Next, we'll use the setInterval method and pass it an anonymous async function. The async function will await the result of our check online status function. We will then use a ternary statement with the result to display the current online status. For this example, I will set the interval to every three seconds. However, this is excessive. Checking every 30 seconds may be enough for your actual needs. 
With our new code saved, let's revisit the Application tab in Chrome DevTools to test our offline response. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I'm going to leave a link to a gist on GitHub for this code and provide some links under the video. Hi, I'm Dave and I want to help you learn. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new tutorials. I'll see you next time.